All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So it looks like Global is finally going to be catching up to JP, but not necessarily in the way we were maybe hoping for, you know, like content wise, units wise, events wise. In those areas, we're still going to be quite behind, but instead we're going to be catching up to them version wise. All right, by jumping all the way from version 4.7.1, which is what Global is currently on, all the way up to version 4.8.4 in a couple days, which is an absolutely massive jump. Like we're completely skipping 4.8.0, maybe even 4.7.2, 7.3, so on and so forth. And uh, we're getting 4.8.4, which is the version that JP was just updated to, I think, either this morning or last night either way it was really really recently and both sides will be on the same version of the game now which is 4.8.4 and as far as the exact date that's happening we do have a maintenance on the 11th which is when i assume the new version will be added to the game so uh yeah i'm not really sure what the reasoning behind this huge jump for global is usually like typically speaking we are a few versions behind but uh, either way, it's happening, so let's check out what's gonna change with the game, right? So the major change that's coming is this first point here, which is the complete removal. Actually, not complete removal, but essentially they're trying to do away with the transfer code method of transferring your account between devices. And instead, they're gonna give you a few more options for how you wanna link your account and transfer it between devices, right? So the main addition here is the ability to link your Google account and use that to transfer your account. Uh, I'm not really sure if this Apple option was there before, but I only use Android devices, so maybe it was always there and I just didn't see it. And uh, of course, there's always there was Facebook and the Game Center account linking, which is also interesting. So quite a few new options, I think, for transferring your account. Because before, all I saw was Facebook and transfer code. And as you can see, no more transfer code. Now, the reason I said that they're not completely removing the system is because you can still use your old transfer codes that you created before the update to uh, move your account between devices, but once this update comes into effect, you can't create any more new transfer codes, all right? So let's say before the update comes, like within the next like two or three days, you create a transfer code, then you can still use that transfer code to and like one time basically to transfer it to another device, like your account to another device. But once you use that transfer code, you won't be able to create any new ones going forward, all right? So maybe if you guys, you know, want a backup just in case like something happens with your Google account or Facebook account or something like that, then still create that transfer code so you can always use that as a backup. And by the way, I was always under the impression that transfer codes expired, but apparently they never expire. So just having that transfer code as a backup for transferring your account in the future might be a good thing. All right, so I would recommend everybody to create a transfer code before this update comes out in actually about two days from now. All right, so do it now. As you're watching this video, just pull out your phone and make a transfer code and make sure you save it somewhere safe, you know? Okay, so that's the major change right there. And uh, two other things that are happening is you can now uh, accept and unfriend people faster. So essentially you have the option of like clicking multiple people to accept their friend request or clicking multiple people to uh, unfriend them. So just a bit of a quality of life change, I guess, saves you a couple seconds if you're trying to clear out your friends list or something like that. So that's pretty cool. And also they added the animation brightness setting. So as it says here, you will be able to change the brightness setting of animations to reduce the strain on your eyes while playing in a dark environment or lessen discomfort due to any flashing or excessive brightness. So this is actually pretty cool. Um, I don't know if you guys do this, but I actually play Dokkan a lot on my um, phone, like in bed, right? Like with all the lights turned off. So this is actually a really good feature to have to, as they say, reduce the strain on your eyes if you're playing in a dark environment. And uh, it actually does make a pretty big, big difference as far as like how bright the animations are. Um, they turn down like all the colors and all that stuff. So um, I guess it could be useful for some people. I guess not everybody's gonna use it, but it's cool to have as an option. And that is pretty much it. Now, I'm not really sure if there's any other changes that are gonna happen that are not covered here. 
and uh, I did a little bit of research before this, but I couldn't really find anything major. So I think the only things you need to pay attention to, um, you know, are the removal of the transfer code system and also uh, these two other things right here. The ability to accept and delete friends faster and also the additional uh, lower brightness setting for the game. Um, oh, also, of course, make sure in addition to creating a transfer code, make sure to link your account to Google or Facebook or Apple or Game Center as soon as you can. I mean, actually, those options won't be available. Link it to Facebook now, and then later on, if you want to link it to like Google or something, then you can do that. Um, because like I said, guys, the transfer code option is going away. Neither version of the game will allow you to create new transfer codes after this update comes into effect. And uh, that's pretty much it. All right, that's pretty much it. I mean, to be honest, I wasn't using transfer codes for my main account for the last like year or so now because I just find the Facebook method to be much faster and a lot more secure. So this is like, it doesn't really make a big difference to me. And if you guys are using Facebook anyways, then it doesn't really make a big difference to you. But for anybody that was still using transfer codes as their main method of moving their account, then it's important for you to know that that's not really an option anymore. So make sure that you back up your account to Facebook right now, and then you can switch it to like Google or something once the update comes into effect. So uh, that's gonna do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Just wanted to let you guys know the details of update 4.8.4 coming to global. Uh, if you have any comments about it or any questions, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try my best to answer them. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.